And with that, what I'd like to do is to turn it over to uh, Congressman Kirkpatrick for a few comments, and then we'll take uh, some questions, whatever might be on your mind with respect to the land exchange. Congressman Kirkpatrick. Thank you. Thank you so much. What an honor. What an honor it is to be able to host the Secretary. And, uh, it means so much to us to have you here. Uh, you know, it, hearing from you today is going to be a very important part of this. Uh, many of you know that I was born in McNary, uh, which is on the White Mountain Apache Nation. And, and when I was born there, it was a thriving economy. Uh, we had the sawmill, uh, lots of jobs. I saw that town go from 3,000 people to 300. So I know what it's like when the jobs go away. It is not good. I introduced the land exchange bill in the House, the House version, uh, after spending about a year and a half meeting with many of you, talking with you about your interests. Uh, changing the bill, the draft that I introduced to address your concerns. And I appreciate very much our Apache neighbors who are here today because I understand the significance of your land and how important that is in protecting the environment. I also, un also understand how important jobs are. And the Copper Basin Jobs Project is something that we've got to have. We've got to have some hope and opportunity for our young people uh, so that they can live in their communities Yeah, they already pulled the mic on me, so maybe I should be quick. <laughs> anyway, I uh, don't want to take up too much time. Thank you very much for being here today. Listen, listen to your comments. By the way, before we do, I do have a special guest, my uh, son, uh, Lance Corporal Jimmy McCain, United States Marine Corps. Just back from deployment. Uh, okay, who wants to sp speak here real quick? Just raise your hand. Yes. I was born here in Superior. My family tree goes back here in Superior. The Arnett's, the Guzman's, the Bernal's, the Reese's, and they were pioneers before Superior, when we had a little town of Pinal. One thing I've learned through the multi-generational place that I'm in now, and not living here in Superior anymore, but staying in close contact with relatives and friends. One thing about Superior is there's always been a sense of community. And Globe, and Miami, and people who knew each other and played ball together and all of that back and forth over the old days. This is a big economic step that I believe the area needs and I believe it should go forward with respect to all the issues that are in front of us. But being Mexican-American and growing up, my dad always said one thing to us. You're a Mexican, not a Mexican. <laughs> and I'll tell you this. All the people of this area, for multi-generations, one thing they've done is they've worked out their problems, they've worked it with unity, and they've done the best and the greatest good for the greatest number, and that's where I see it. Also, Lance Corporal, I was a, I was a corner. You Marines take good care of us. Chief Sandra Rambert on stand. San Carlos Apache Indian Reservation and then Shlinihi Tukai and Shli Nanat Sosan Bandan Shti Tzale and Dejo Zesko and Tang Lenny with Zagan Shah John Rope was a hit. I am from the family of the late John Rope. He was the first Apache scout. The first Apache Native American Indian to have the United States government put a flag on, placed on his casket when he was buried. That's the kind of prestigious family that we come from. And I brought elders here, I'd like to introduce them. Alicia May, who's 78 years old. Gladys Gibson, 77 years old. Ruth Rogers, 78 years old. Dolores Jordan, 66 years old. And Audrey Johnson, 73 years old. These are members of the St. Carlos Apache tribe that are here today. 
We just want to let you know, you know, I was very insulted by the comment made by the mayor's dad when he said that he, when he came to United States, he threw away his chopsticks. And he started eating a fork with a fork, using a fork. Well, I guess that's where that pork tongue came from. Anyway, I was just insulted by that. But I just wanted to address the subsidence issue if the mining does come in. You know, you've got to think about block caving. You've got to think about the cultural impact that's going to happen to our people. And also the environmental impact. You've got to think about these things before you make a decision. And let, you know, because once it's gone, it's gone, you know. This land was once ours and was taken from us. This is why I spoke in a Native American language, because my grandmother told us, you were born in Apache, you're going to die in Apache. And that Apache homeland is always going to belong to us, regardless of whatever you do. And we say, no deal, no land swap. I'll comment on that in a few minutes. Let's take some other comments I want to hear. Thanks for serving, Chair. Not me for serving, because I came from a vet, just like you are. And my name is Gene Porto. I came from Miami, Arizona, born 1939. My father came to this area when he was a little kid. 1922, born in New Mexico, in Mogollon, New Mexico. And we all of us, need this mining. This is what drives the engine. Anybody that's against this project has got their head in the sand. We need jobs, jobs, jobs. I worked in the mine for 16 years. So we need them. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks for the country. My son's also in the military been for 20 years. Thank you. Thank you. There's a whole flat supporter over here. Yes, ma'am. Hi, my name is Linda White, and I'm a native of Arizona. I need a job, too, and I live in the city, but I'm not going to be a minor. Um, I, uh, and it's, anyhow. Um, I'd just like to say that there's been a lot of mining throughout the world, not just in America, not just in Superior. And I'd like to know what is the company going to, what measures are they going to take to prevent like cancer from year, years later down the road? And what are they going to do to preserve the water, um, our most precious resource? Thank you. Yeah, you know what, I, you know what I'd like to do? So what I'd like to do is I'd like to I'd like to take some more comments like this, and then uh, we'll respond to them at the at the end. So uh, let's let's keep uh, keep some more comments coming our way. Senator, you probably don't remember me. 